In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is the Association for Project Management? The Association for Project Management, or the APM, is the UK-based professional membership body for project managers. In the UK, it's referred to as a chartered professional body for the project profession because it received its Royal Charter this year, in fact, as I record this video, in 2017. This brings it into line with a large number of other chartered institutions, like the town planners and the chartered surveyors and human resource professionals. In the UK, I'd argue that this chartered status will, over time, give us easier access to the top table in the corporate world. The APM provides many things to us as project managers. The APM provides us with many things as project managers. It provides us with career development, qualifications, publications, events and communities through its branch network and its special interest groups, or SIGs. The APM has around about 23,000 members and 570 corporate members, mostly in the UK. It's the largest project management membership body in Europe, and it's a member of the International Project Management Association, the IPMA. In size, it's second only to the Project Management Institute, the PMI. The APM has five dimensions of professionalism, and the first is breadth, which it sets out through its body of knowledge, the APM's equivalent of the PMBOK at the PMI. And the second is depth, which it articulates through its competency framework. The third dimension is achievement, and the APM, like the PMI, has its own set of qualifications. Fourth, among the dimensions of professionalism, is commitment. And for the APM, commitment is all about continuing professional development. And finally, accountability, which is the APM's way of talking about the ethics of how we do project management. Outside of the UK, and perhaps some of the Commonwealth countries, the APM is probably not going to be your professional body of choice. But if you do live in the UK, then you have a serious decision to make as to whether you pursue the APM route on the one hand or the PMI route on the other, although there is no bar to joining both organisations. The APM has had a very successful few years, which have culminated recently in its gaining a Royal Charter. So for project managers in the UK, the APM is a very significant part of its landscape. And I, for one, am proud to write a regular column for its magazine, Project, which appears quarterly.